lot, and now a story you saw first on four. Investigators have released the final report on the deadly boating accident involving South Florida radio celebrity DJ Laz. The attorney for the family of the man who was killed in the accident is reacting to the news that drug residue was found on the boat. CBS4's Natalia Zaya broke the story and is live near Key Biscayne with the latest. Natalia. Well, that tragic day here on the waters of Biscayne Bay led to a year-long criminal investigation and a civil lawsuit. And as both sides prepare for that civil trial, we're learning more about what was on DJ Laz's boat that day. The evidence photos of the items on DJ Laz's boat during a promotional party on the water for Voli Vodka show that the more than 20 people on board were partying hard. More than a dozen bottles of alcohol were found on the boat, as well as this, ripped up pieces of a dollar bill with white powder on them, which tested positive for cocaine. They were able to determine that there were some dollar bills that had residue of cocaine. The criminal investigation against DJ Laz, whose real name is Lazaro Mendez, is now over, cocaine and all. He got a civil ticket instead. DJ Laz fired up his boat engines while Ernesto Hernandez and several other men attempted to push his boat off the Nixon Beach sandbar last year. Hernandez was killed by the propellers. There was not enough evidence for us to file any other charge except the careless operation charged. George Silva, attorney for the Hernandez family, blames responding officers for not drawing Mendez blood or doing a breathalyzer. Not to have tested the operator of that vessel who was directly responsible for the demise of this young man is just quite frankly unspeakable. Investigators maintain they could not force Mendez to give blood or do a breathalyzer because he showed no visible signs of impairment. After consulting with the state attorney's office, with the decision was made not to forcibly draw blood. However, we did give Mr. Mendez an opportunity for him to voluntarily give us blood, and he refused. Mendez also denied their request to answer questions. With these rights in mind, do you wish to speak to us now? No. No. You gonna wait for your attorney? Yes, sir. Uh, do you have your attorney's name? Leslie Siegel. Though investigators did not test Mendez, they did run labs on the victim, Hernandez, which showed his blood alcohol content was more than twice the legal limit, but he tested negative for drugs. The Hernandez family is suing Mendez, and their attorney says the findings of the final report causes them even more pain. The cocaine was obviously something that was devastating to them. Now, I have tried multiple times to reach DJ Laz's attorney for their side of all of this, specifically commenting about that cocaine residue that was found on the boat. I even spoke with that attorney's paralegal, but at this point, they are not releasing a statement on his behalf. That civil trial is expected to go to trial and begin in the next several months. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News. Natalia, thank you. New at 